So the question was, what is data computer communication? So, <clears throat> um, all right, so let's go to the whiteboard in here. All right, so let's just start from scratch. Okay, so this course is about data computer communications, right? So what is data? It's divided. What is data? But there Information. Are, Okay. Information. Okay, information. Thank you. Uh, what format of data? Uh, what I think. Oh, go ahead. I think uh, inform data is data and information is not the same thing. Uh, data is is raw. It does not contain information, right? I believe well, I read something like I, I believe I read something like that a while ago that. Uh, Information is uh, data that we can understand, and data is just a bunch of information, a bunch of zeros and ones that we don't understand yet. Okay, possibly. I don't know. All right, so there's people have a distinction between data and information. That's fine. <clears throat> but for our purpose in here, what is data? It's a representation of... Information is stored... Okay, it's a representation of information. So when you talk about data, what kind of data you could have? All right, the data could be digital and it could be analog, right? Analog data. Digital data is like zeros and ones. Analog is like audio. It's an analog data, right? Okay, now the question is, what is computer? Simple, Digital. simple questions, but I need you to get going. I need you to think. All right. So if you are not able to answer simple questions, when we come more complicated, we'll, you'll get lost. What's computer? Hardware. This is connected to internet. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, hardware, one answer. Connect to the internet, the other answer. But uh, computer is is a hardware with software. So computer has more, many elements inside. It has a CPU, central processing unit. It has the memory, the RAM. It has the hard disk drive, right? It connects, so it has a communication, communicate. And now we'll come to the word communication. What is communication? What does it mean, communication? So, internet. So you put transfer of data, transfer of information. Yes, transfer of data through computers. All right, good, good. That's all good answers. How about exchange of data? The communication is the exchange of data, right? That's what we do, exchange, right? So the data gotta go. So congratulations, guys. We okay. are done. We finished the course. That's what's the data, computer communication. Now you understand it all, and you're ready for your test. All right. All right, so... Um, yeah, I mean, data is information. It could be analog, it could be digital. You might wonder why we have this division, because later on, uh, when we talk about how we transfer data, how we encode the data, okay, it will make a difference wh whether it's digital or analog. And the computer is the, the device that we use to transfer the data, and communication is what we are talking about, is ex exchanging the information exchanging the information so i'll delete this and i'll ask you okay what is network what is the minimum network you could have the smallest network you could have uh, i think lan it's like local area uh okay La okay is that the smallest really is that the smallest um, or, or we made like two networks from bridge Use two networks. That's the smallest. Just two computers. Uh huh. Two computers. It's, okay. Uh, it's a personal, okay. Personal, uh, personal area network. That's the smallest. Okay. One more answer. Let's try one more answer. What makes the smallest network? One more answer. Um, I think is like more than? reachability. Reachability. Okay. All right. And how, like, for example, Bluetooth is it doesn't go as far as like Wi-Fi. 
and like infrared doesn't go through walls, you know. Okay, okay. Did it try? Could it try? Uh, can I can I include printers? It could include a printer and could include a copy machine. It could include a refrigerator if you want. Because refrigerators nowadays they have Ethernet and AC. All right. But can I include phones? Modem? Smartphone. No. Phone? Include, cell phone? Yeah, it could include cell phone as well. It could include anything. It could in include nowadays uh, uh, a cup. If you could ping a cup and has an IP address, you could include it. There is no problem, right? Okay, so let me tell you what is the smallest network. The smallest ne network is if you have a node in here. Oops. Uh, how to create a uh, circle. So these are only colors. Uh, you see, that's the advantage when you have a whiteboard. When you have a whiteboard, you could do whatever you want, right? Um, I don't care about that. What is this? Okay, okay. Uh, so that anything that has a unique identification is considered that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I need to get circles. How to get add on? Okay, let me cancel this. I don't need you. Draw and. Hmm. Here maybe. Okay. Insert forms, stickers. That would be nice in here to go. Yeah, that's really cool. I could put like this, right? Nice. Okay, but this I could play with my children with these things, not with you. All right. So let me go for drawing. Okay. So let's we have let's we have a computer in here. That's a computer. All right. And let's say that we have another computer in here, computer, that's computer A, okay, and that's computer B, all right? So, and they are connected with a media, okay? So, what makes this a smallest network, okay? What makes the smallest network if A and B are completely autonomous? That means if we remove the wire between them, they still could work fully as a full computers without needing each other. So in other words, it's not a DOM, it's not a server DOM terminal connection. All right. So it's just not a terminal. It's a full operating system. And then here is a full operating system. A is an autonomous system and B is an autonomous system. We connect them to exchange information only, not to process data. In the long, a long time ago, I mean, like when you have a scarce in the power, you used to have like a server, okay, we call it server in here, all right, and terminals. So the terminal does not process data. All it has send the data to the server, process the, the data, it will be sent back. So there is no power. It's not a fully autonomous system. So in that case, that's not a network. Network, when you have two nodes at least, which are uh, completely autonomous. Clear? Concept. All right. Number two. Okay. Now, when you take a look at the network, so building a network in here, for example. So what we do, what, what do we need to exchange the data? So we have the, the node, and this node, we call it what? What is it called? It? Okay. Data. Terminal equipment, all right. Data terminal equipment, and there is a device in here, a small device connected to that computer. We call it data communication equipment, all right. So the data terminal equipment could be a PC, right? It could be a printer. printer it could be anything that process data right and then you have the DC which is the data communication equipment that could be what Ethernet card right network card Ethernet card 
Uh, it could be a Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay, it could be modem. Okay. So what will happen? The data will be sent to the DCE data communication equipment. Will process the data and prepare it to send it into what we call this in here media. Right? We call it medium. Okay, medium. The data will be transferred through the medium to the other side, and from the other side back to here through a medium. All right, <clears throat> so the other side again will have the DCE uh, 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 data communication equipment will receive the data and will send it back to to the other node. Right, and the process will happen back and forth. Okay, and that's what is communication. So my question to you: uh, Let's talk a little bit about the data. What is the format of data? It could be digital or Analog, right? Analog. Okay. Zero one. Right? Okay. The digital is zero one zero one. The question is, how data is it transmitted from node B or node A to node B? So, is for example node A going to say, okay, zero one zero one one zero? It's in the air. It will be sending the 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 bits. Uh, little electrical circuit, little electrical signals. Exactly. So the data will be encoded. So there are encoding techniques. The encoding is the conversion of, of converting the data to a signal. Okay, a signal. So we have, for example, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. This will be converted to, okay, a signal. And the signal will be tra transmitted on the wire. All right, okay, and it will be encoded. All right, when it's encoded, the receiver will receive it. And what does the receiver do? Decode, okay, encoding and decoding for the data. Now, encoding is easily set, it's not a symbol. There is many, many, many techniques for encoding, many, many techniques for encoding. By itself, if we, if we need to cover the encoding techniques, we might need to have half of the course, all right, to, okay, uh, understanding what is encoding and how encoding happen, how to convert, and there's so many types of encoding techniques that it will happen, all right, so moving on, so the data in here transferred, in here the DCE, data communication equipment, received it, decoded, give it back to, uh, to, um, uh, to the receiver. Now, a question for you. All right, all right. What the problems you could have? What the problems you could have? Could happen when we're transmitting data? Any problems could happen? Interception. I could not hear you. Interception. Interception. You said. Yes. Okay. Okay. Interception. Okay. That's uh, not in my mind. But okay. What other problems? Like it could get corrupted. Interrupted, yeah. The data could be corrupted, yes. The data could be corrupted, right? So, uh, how we handle that when the data get corrupted? What, how we handle that? <clears throat> All right, so the data, it has, I mean, there should be, first of all, how we send the data? And let's say that we have a very long data, huge data. How we send it? By packets. By packets. Exactly. Arzu, Arzu, Arzu. Thank you. Okay, packets. So remember that we have a message. Okay, we have a message. I wish I am in the cloud. Oh. All right. So um, uh, we have a message, right? This is the message in here, right? Okay, message. But the message could be like 100 pages, all right? You can't send the message, all right? So what you have to do is divide the message into packets, right? Packets, uh, okay, yeah. and you send uh, packets. So packets at the network layer frame at the data link layer, we'll talk about that in a second, all right? But that's what will happen, right? 
there is a mechanism to handle the error. So there is two things we have to have in the system, right? The first thing, error detection algorithm, and there is also error correction algorithms. Okay, okay, there is, and there is many of them. I mean, if I need to explain, for example, Hamming code for you, which is error cor correction uh, um, algorithm, I need a whole class. Actually, I used to explain it to the students, and I asked them to implement it, write a code for it in different, uh, in the same class, in this class. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I mean, you know, uh, uh, I, I take it day by day, right? So there is error detection algorithms and error correction algorithms. What is the difference? One detects if there's an error and the other one fixes it. Okay, exactly. From the, so, so the only one, it does on, only error, it detects if there is an error. Only detects. So, all right. So if we detect an error, how we are solving the problem? Uh, maybe the packet is recreated or something? By retransmission. By retransmission, right? So, but how the receiver will know that it has to, uh, the sender, I'm sorry, it has, it knows that it has to send the packet again. So, there is mechanisms for that. Well, I'm trying to tell you, I mean, the whole world in here, there is like... <laughs> Tens of algorithms and protocols working together, okay, tying together, all right? So, uh, so for example, what will happen? Let's say that we have a frame, right? You have a frame one will be sent, frame one, okay, sent, all right? All right, to where? To here, Fra frame zero, let's say, frame zero, Re sent. Frame zero was received. Okay, this will send back acknowledgement. Acknowledgement one. So what does it say? That I received frame zero, I'm ready to receive a, a frame one. Then acknowledgement one will be received in here, right? Acknowledgement received. Now it will send frame one, all right? Okay, let's say this frame one get lost. Okay, what will happen to the receiver? It will have a timer, okay, timer, all right? So um, 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 the receiver will not have a timer. The, the sender will have a timer. So the, ti the, the sender will expect to receive acknowledgement. It did not receive. After the timer ex expires, what will does it do? It will know it was lost, and what will do? Send it again. <coughs> All right. So since uh, since the frame one, uh, if it does, it will set up a timer. Okay, timer. If it does not receive acknowledgement within the timer time, it will send it again. All right. All right, and send it back. All right. So the question is now: What if? Okay. What if? Okay. Let's remove this. Let's remove that. Okay. Okay. Let's remove this. Okay. So if zero was received, no problem. So if zero received, okay, and acknowledgement was sent back, right? But it was lost. So it was received, okay, but it was lost. The acknowledgement was lost, all right? So the sender will not receive the acknowledgement. What does the sender do? It will time out and will send frame zero again, right? So in here, you have two copies of frame zero. Is that a problem? Why not? I think, uh, I don't know if they're correct or not, but for example, like DDoS attack, the sender do the same thing to overwhelm the server if he keeps doing that. Let's not go there. I mean, the question is simple. I understand. Okay, now mm -hmm. there, there is a, a duplicate copy of the F0. Is there a problem? 
Of course, there's no problem. Why? Because we apply the sequence number, so the receiver will see same copy. Okay, just delete the other one and moves on. Okay, this is a very simple algorithm that's not used. That used like 50 years ago. Okay, the system for for handling this called like um, Windows. Okay, uh, uh, sliding window is much more complex than this. But I'm just telling you issues is happening there. All right. So that's what will happen, all right? So it will handle, you have errors. So this is error detection algorithm. In here, did we, did we fix the error? No, we only detect it. And once we detect an error, what we do? We send the packet again, right? But there is advanced algorithm that could cause error, uh, error correction algorithm. That means you could receive a corrupted frame and you'll be able to fix it at the destination. There's algorithms for that. All right. So magically, all right, you could fix it there. How? It's the way you encoded the data. Remember when I told you there are so many ways of encoding the data. All right. Some of the encoding of the data will allow you, if there is a corruption in the data, to fix it at the destination. All right. So that's also something you have to worry about. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so that's that's what we call this network in here, this network. Uh, I think peer-to-peer. Peer-to-peer, -peer. okay. So now what is, okay, could I go down? I'm not sure how to create another page. There's an add page button at the bottom. Where is it? Um, at the bottom. At the bottom? Your bottom left. Add page. Okay. Good. Thank you. So we added the page now. Good. All right. All right. <clears throat> um, so, um, so usually the smallest network you could have is the LAN. All right. So the LAN, usually you have a hop. Okay. Or a switch. A switch in the middle okay and you have like nodes connected to it like this okay all right let's call them a b c and d right all right so um as you know that um that each each node will have an ip address right in the tcp ip tcp IP, each node will have an IP address, right? So let's give IP addresses. So 192, 192. Is there a way to insert a box in here right inside it? Maybe I could write right away. No? Uh, here, what is this? I don't care about this in here. Could I write? Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, easier. Okay, let me do this one. All right, so let's give IP addresses, right? So in here, okay, 192. Dot, um, no. I think you gotta click the cursor again. Okay. 192.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.
um, as you see it in here. All right. Um, okay, 192.10.10, and then 11, 12, and this, let's call this um, um, 13, actually. All right, 13. Otherwise, will be address conflict, right? So um, each node will have an address, logical address, which is the IP address, right? So if you look at the first part in here, the 192.10, they are the same in here, right? Are the same. So what is this? This is the network address. This is the network address, right? And the 13 in here, what we call it? The host address, the host address, okay, host. So all of them, they have the same network address, 192.10.10. That's why they are able to communicate. They are part of, of the same network. But each one will have different host address. As you see in here, a 12 host address. This is a 12 host address. This is a 10 host address. And this is 13 host address. So there is no problem. If I have two IP addresses, the same IP address in here, then there will be conflicting address. You will not be able to communicate. It will cause the network to drop down. What we call this? This is what we call it. LAN, right? LAN, yeah, local area. Yeah, local LAN. area tool. Okay, LAN, right? Let's create another network. Let's create another network. But this this is a bus topology. So this is a star topology. In here, we create a bus topology. As you see in mm -hmm. here, bus topology. We have terminators in here and all of that. And again, Okay, we have to create. Uh, okay, we could, you know, in here, control copy, bring it here, control V, in here, control V. This is control V, but I need to change the network address. This will be uh, 200. Oh, again, I change it to 200. This is, I will change it to 200. And this I will change it to 200. All right. So what we call this, again, this is what is called in here. LAN, also LAN. It's also LAN. Now, let me ask a question. And let me call it num 1 and 2 and 3. All right. So now, is node 1 able to communicate with node 2? No. Yeah. No? Why no? Because I think they have uh, the name, uh, the same uh, wait. Exactly, same IP address. So, yeah, the same IP address. Ah, oh, that's yeah. a problem. So I have to go and change this, for example, to twenty. All right, and this I mm -hmm. change it to whatever number hundred. Okay, as long as yeah. okay, they are not the same. I'm good. Okay, this I could change it to nineteen. There's no problem. Let me ask that question again. Are they able to communicate with each other? Yes, right? Yes. How about yes. these nodes? Are they able to communicate with each other? A is, yes. 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 A is able yes. to communicate with B, with C, with D. All right. So how could I make A, uh, A able to connect with 2, for example? Uh, I, think public, I think they need public IPs. All of them have public IPs, no problem. These are public IPs. But uh, I, I think we can uh, use uh, like a bridge. A bridge. So, okay, a bridge. Is so, a router. Okay, so let's have a bridge in here. So, switch, you mean? So, we could, yeah, switch. We could yeah. connect the switch with the switch. Okay, mm -hmm. and then connect this switch with the network in here, right? Now, yes. are they able to communicate? Yeah. Okay, uh, whoever says yeah. Put the hands up. I'll put my hands up. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, Shabham, are you there? Shabham, Kashikar. Uh, yes, Professor. All right. Yes, Professor. Y your hand is up or down? Uh, 
Is your hand up or down? Uh, uh just, a, just a minute, Professor. Yep, it's up. It's up, okay. All right. Adil, is your hand up or down? All right, so I removed my hand. They were not able to communicate. All these hands up for nothing, okay? They were not able to communicate. So a switch, a switch does not connect different networks. All right? All right, switch does I'm not. Professor? Yes, sir. So uh, I have a question. Maybe can we use a router? We have to use a router. Yeah, we have I mixed up, sorry, both. for the switch and the router, because I remember we use, uh, between two network, we use the router, and I forgot, sorry. Yes, we have to use the router, so there is something called router. So what is router? Is a device we call the store and forward, store and forward device. So the router will have two Ethernet cards, two network cards, one in here and one in here, all right? So it will, the IP address for this one, it will come uh, from here. It will come in here from this network. So control copy, okay, and let's paste it in here, control V, and let's give it one, for example. All right? All right. And the IP address of this Ethernet card will come from here. Let's copy this, control copy, and let's put it in here, control V. All right, let's move it a little bit like this, and let's give it one. All right, so what is router? It's like a translation machine. It does a translating. So the data, now, let's divide divide the router in two halves. Let's imagine it's like two halves. Okay. Okay, it's like this half part of this network, and this half is part of this network. So what will happen? Node 2 will be able to transmit data to the router using this network card. It will receive it, it will save it in the memory. Then the router, what does it do? Forward it. Now the router will be able to talk with this network using this IP address. If you don't understand my language, let me change my language. This language speaks English. This network speaks English. This speaks German, right? This router speaks German and English. English. So, so it will speak to half of the router in English and German. It will translate it to English. English will send it to the English territory. All right. So we need to have devices. So we learn about multiple different devices. There is something called Hop, which works in layer one, and Switch, which works in layer two, and the routers which work in layer three. All right. And by the way, there is something called uh, called a layer three switch, but this is a very advanced topic. Let's not talk about it right now. All right. So what I'm trying to say is, some of the switches, the new generation of switches, understand layer three. Are we good so far? Are we still friends? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So good, good, good. All right. All right. So what else? I mean, we're trying to build uh, this network in here. Now, when you have this LAN connected with this LAN, okay, this LAN is connected with this LAN, all right? Uh, this LAN is connected with this LAN. What we call this? So if we're going to draw in here, okay, like this. Uh, we, we call it one, world area network. Exactly. We call it one, right? Yeah. One. one. All right, so LAN, LAN's connected, okay, interconnected. Now the interconnection of the WANs and LANs in the whole world, what do we call them? Global. Global what? Internet. Global. We, call them inter mm. we call them Internet. Internet, yeah. Okay. So what is Internet? Is the interconnection between LANs and WANs in the whole world. And that will give you and the condition for internet what makes internet internet it uses TCP IP TCP IP protocol stack oh, okay TCP IP protocol stack and that would make 
the internet. All right. So uh, that's 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 what how it is. So is how to you know interconnect everything uh, together. All right. So let's uh, jump to another topic. Where how can I go to the next page? Help me, guys. Next page. Next page. You taught me. The bottom left. Bottom. Um. Oh, I have to go this first, and then yeah, say yeah, add page. Right. Add page. Yeah. Okay. Adding page. All right. If I for if I forget, rem just remember to remind me. Okay. That's your job in this class. Remind me how to use. Uh -oh, what's going on here? Huh. That's interesting. Okay, let's have it in here. Okay, that's good. And then let me delete this. So what is this wire? Anybody knows? This wire, what is this wire? RJ45, fiber optics. All right, thank you, Arzu. You're doing a good job. Okay, it's it's the uh, media. Okay, something wrong. Okay, let's make it hundred percent. That's fine. Okay, let me delete this. All right, and let me go in here. Okay, let's call it okay media. Okay, media or medium, whatever. Medium is one media multiple, right? All right. So when you take a look at the the uh, the medium, right? What type of medias you could have? So they are divided in two categories. The first category is guided, and the second one is an. Uh, and uh, guided, all right, or you could call it wireless, and this you could call it wired. Wired, you agree? All right, so if we have this is in here, and we have this in here, and easily I could do like this, like that, and this is like that, right. All right, so can you give me example for the guided, uh, uh, for the guided, um, uh, guided um, media. Ethernet. Ethernet. Ethernet is not a media. So you have the twisted pair. Okay, twisted pair. Mm. Okay, pair. You have the coax cable. You have the fiber. Okay, okay the fiber, right? All right, so twisted bear, there is, they call them cats, right? There is cat three, start with three, no, not anymore, cat five, cat seven. five, cat six, seven. maybe cat seven now, or six E, whatever, seven, right? And for the uh, Cox cable, there's thin net, thin net, and there is thick net, all right, thin net exactly what you have it at home in your cable and your TV, the thin net to the one, right? Uh, uh, thin net and thick net, Cox cables, fiber, it could be single mode and multi mode fibers. There is different types of modes, right? These all the media. And all of them, there is a lot of specs and a lot of characteristics. Again, if I need to cover all of these medias, I need to cut a couple of lectures, all right? So there is a lot of things that could be covered. Now, for unguided, can you give me an example for unguided? Wireless. Why, 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 Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay, what else? Bluetooth. 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 Yep. Bluetooth. Okay, what else? Infrared. What? Infrared. I had this. Infrared, yes, infrared. Infrared. NFC. NFC. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I'm wondering if airdrop uh, is uh, like uh, wireless. Yes, 
Yeah, but it's not techno. I mean, it's using Wi-Fi anyway, so I don't think. Um, all right. So these are different technologies, right? Okay, these are the technologies. So the media also is a very big topic that you know you need you need to understand um, uh, um, very well. Okay, media different way. Okay. Now, when you go to the interface, the network interface, also there is different ones that you need to understand. There is Ethernet, there is Token Bus, Token Ring, Ethernet. They are completely different technology. Usually nowadays we we call the network card what we call it. We call it Ethernet, right? Why? Because it's the most common technology used. All right. But it's not Ethernet, network card. So when you talk at the network, when you take a look at the network, okay, network, network, technologies, okay, what you could have, okay, you could have, you could have Ethernet, and of course there's multiple Ethernets, you could have um, token ring, you could have okay token token bus and so on and so forth right token bus and so on and so forth all right okay so this is one more concept right okay all right so again I mean like you take a look in here we started talking about in here the okay simple network simple network in here it's then I think you'll be able to access it from your uh, are you able to see it from your uh, teams can somebody check for me so it will be in top there in the notes Yes, Professor, was there. Good, so I'll keep them there for you. All right. All right. Uh, okay. All right. So um, you know. Um, okay. And also, uh, there is you know many other things you you have heard about, right? So you have heard about uh, DNS, right? Domain name server. What is domain name server? Anybody knows? Uh, isn't it a uh, database of, of of websites or or? Uh IP addresses? Sure. It's a, so, like a table of the IPs? Yeah, domain name surface, which is like converts the IP address into, into a domain name. So, for example, nobody will remember, will remember the IP address of CNN.com. So, that's why we have CNN. So, we say HTTP. Okay. Okay. CNN. CNN.com, for example, right? So if you go to your web page, to any web page in here, okay, uh, in here, let me bring it here, okay, web page, and if I say cnn.com, all right, the network does not understand anything, okay, anything, does not understand what cnn.com. So there is something called, uh, there is something called a DNS server. So what will happen, let me draw it in here. So there is something DNS server, DNS server so when for example you are at your home in here home all right and you're connecting to the internet all right and in your browser typing the cnn.com you typing for example cnn.com okay it will not will not be able to understand the network so this has to be converted to what to ip address so what will happen the host in here will go to the DNS, okay? Hello, DNS. 
it tells it hello DNS. Ah. Okay, hello, it will send it. Okay, hello DNS. I have a domain name cnn.com. Could you please tell me what is the IP address? Then it will send back the IP address for the cn.com. Then the host will be able to communicate okay back with the internet using the IP address. All right? The IP address. Think about it like your your phone, your cell phone, your cell phone. So if I am if I am for example uh, saving uh, uh, better better uh, in, in my in, in, in my uh, diary better al Jabber for example so this is like a DNS name all right if I go right better al Jabber will not to, will not be able to understand will not be able to make a call but it's saved in here so when I hit better al Jabber what the cell phone gonna go gonna go to the diary convert that name to what to a phone number and then dial yeah. dial the phone number the phone number is the the one is used to communicate is not the name same thing in here so dns is a, a, a domain name surface that converts the qualified name okay the url into uh into uh, an ip address and convert it into the ip address all right, so that's the DNS. Also, uh, you will hear in your network also something DHCP, right? Okay, did you hear about the DHCP? The responsible for giving the IP address on your devices. Okay, so DHCP dynamic host um, uh, control protocol will allow you to dynamically um, allocate an IP address. So when you have a network, like this all right so in here like that network like that seriously i have no idea sometimes stops come on that's fine i'm not going to cry today tomorrow maybe all right so okay so in here so you could have a static ip address you could go and I'll allocate a static ip address all right but you know these ip addresses are for money okay you pay for them they are costly right so like let's say that you have 200 computers in your company let's say yeah let's say that uh romeo romeo are there are you there yeah i'm here I'm okay here. so romeo that you have you have like a company that has 200 employees all right all right so but but usually at the same time only 100 employees work all right, they shift and all of that. Do you need to get 200 IP addresses? No. No. So what you'll do, you have a DHCP server somewhere in here. Okay, DHCP server. Okay. And maybe you'll get 50 IP addresses, one, two, up to 50. All right. So what will happen when this computer puts up, the first thing it does, it will send, this is the DHCP server, DH. CB server. So when it puts up, it will go to the DHCP server and ask, hello, good morning, I just wake up and I need an IP address. Then the DHCP server will assign it an IP address. Okay, will assign it an IP address. Then the next mas machine wakes up and will go, okay, and will ask for the IP address. All right. So let's say machine number 51 wakes up now and you have 50, 50 IP addresses are consumed. And this machine goes and asks for IP address. What will happen? You will not get, you get one. Okay, you're out of luck. Okay, so, but usually you have to have enough IP addresses, but you don't have to purchase. Let's say a company has like, uh, like 100,000 employees. Are you going to get 100,000 IPs? pay millions of dollars for no you don't need that i mean you could create a dhcp server and that's what will happen so that's a dhcp server okay in here we are talking in concepts about the concepts general concepts that i think that you may heard about this is only introduction today we'll go in details later on okay that's only uh, just an introductory all right so uh, and there's a lot so let's have a break uh would you like to have a break or no break
if you need to break, raise your hand. I will raise my hand myself. Okay. Well, I have a veto, so we'll have a break. All right. So let's have a break for 10 minutes. Okay. So it's like 7.05. Let's come back 7.15. Or 7.50. 20. Okay. Have your dinner and come back. Oh, thank you. All right, so um, um, so let's go to the power presentations in here. All right, so uh, chapter one will give you um, introduction, which we have covered uh, quickly. Uh, so um, Arbonet was the first project. Um, uh, the first project. Um, um all right let me just uh, swap the screens all right um so quickly we covered most of the stuff in chapter one um, um, 